Hello beauties. I'm here to talk to you about something new, something I've never talked about before, something I've never worn before, and that is a human hair wig. And this is a human hair wig, and it's a budget-friendly human hair wig, and um, the reason I don't have a lot of human hair or any is because I don't want to pay $2,000 or up for a wig. Um, that's just not my jam to do. So I found out Backstage Beauty uh, is now selling budget-friendly wigs. And Backstage Beauty is run by D. St. John, and I have known her for years. And just she's the most wonderful person great customer service um just will help you find the wig that you absolutely will love and adore um i love this color um it took us a while to get to my color um because a lot of the wigs today run to burgundy rather than to like an irish red and this is perfect. This has turned out just to be the best color for me and I love it, I love it. Um, it comes and it is wavy. It's when you wash it, it comes out wavy and that's a good thing. You can wear it that way. The reason I didn't wear it that way was because it's, this wig is longer than what I, is norm for me so it was a little bit of a learning curve to figure out what to do with all that hair and um, I did not cut it I just put some little little curls in it just put some little spiral curls in it with a curling iron and it drew it up enough to where it's not a bad length for me I can wear this length I don't know that I will. I don't know that I won't cut a little bit of it off, especially in the back. It's a little bit longer in the back, but um, but right now I'm gonna leave it just like it is and just uh, wear it. So I love this color and I always wanna wear long hair. I just don't think I look good in long hair. So then I don't wear long hair. So let me show you the back. So, uh, let me pull it all in front and see. It's, um, you know, it, it, it's the bottom length, the bottom layer is longer. It's longer than, all, you know, it's really long. And they, they all seem to do that. They all seem to make it, and then they put this layer in it that's a little bit longer, which makes it a little bit thinner, which that's what I don't like because I'm used to wearing it shorter. But now that I have rolled it, I, I don't I don't mind that at all. I don't I don't mind it. It looks natural. That's what natural hair does. And so actually I like it. So whether or not I cut it will remain to be seen. But um, I do like it and I hope to wear it a lot. I, I don't know a lot about human hair, so I'm learning. I'm learning about it. And as I learn, I'll, I'll let y'all know what I've learned and about it. But I just really love it. I can part this anywhere. I can part it on the side or the other side or whatever. And I would have to play with it to see what I want to do with it. Um, but it's soft. It came super soft. Um, Guess what, y'all? Human hair doesn't feel like plastic ever, <laughs> which I never thought my synthetics felt like plastic. Some of them do. I d I've discovered that some of them actually do. So let me see something. If I can get this in here, there's a light, but it's gonna show on my glasses. I don't know if that shows the color off better or not. Um, that's a little ring light I have just attached to my phone. If I can get it out of my glasses. 
So, what you think? What you think about human hair? What do you think about this color? Um, I love this. It looks like a little bit like Envy Lighter Red, which is my favorite color of Envy. Um, and I wear a lot of lighter red um, for Envy. Let me take these glasses off and then maybe I won't have to keep turning my head. Um, it, the, I, I found today that this is not um, sweltering. Like it's 106 and in Texas right now where I'm at and um so it I couldn't wear a long synthetic wig around the house at all I have an extra air conditioner running in this room because I spend a lot of time in this room during the day if I'm gonna knit or watch TV or do whatever um, and not run around the house and do stuff and if I run around the house and do stuff then I come back in this room because I have a extra air conditioner in here and um so it's really cool in here, but even when I have, I've tried to wear other longer human hair wigs like um, Raquel Welch Free Time or the, and it's just, I cannot, it's just too hot. This, I'm not sweating on it or anything. Now, I don't know what'll happen because I have no experience with human hair. Will the curl fall out? Because it's very humid uh, normally where I am in Texas. Um, not like Houston, but it is humid. I live in near Austin and it's still humid. And so I'm wondering if the curls will stay. I don't know. Um, they, I, they went in super easy. I mean, the curls went in super easy. It was, it was fun. It was actually fun to curl it. Um, and, you know, with synthetics, I have to roll and then steam and all that. And I didn't have to. I just used a curling iron, which didn't heat up my bathroom all that much. And that was great because I couldn't, I, I don't want to steam a wig in this weather. But, um, it, so I can part her on the side and next time I come by here, I will part her on the side. I will fix her in different ways um, to see. But right now I'm just, just loving looking at her. <laughs> I love this color. I really do. I don't want to mess with her too much because I don't want the curls to fall out. And, and I'm sure they will in Texas. I mean, my human, when I had hair, when I used to have hair, it would fall out all the time. I mean, you know, I would stand in the bathroom and I would roll and hot roller and do this and that and get it all pretty and spray. And then I'd walk outside and it would be done. It was done. So anyway, um, so I will put Backstage Beauty's information below. And you can get in contact with her and tell her what you would like, what you would like to have and uh, she will give you any information, give you all the information that you're looking for. She'll help you out and help you to um, pick out the best wig for you. Um, so uh, her name is Dee St. John and her business name is Backstage Beauty. And the Backstage Beauty has been around for a long time, um, but she put her business on hold to work for someone else for a while and now she is going to no longer working for someone else so she is going to uh, get her business going and i'm so excited about it no one's more excited about that than me maybe her but i sometimes i think i'm more excited about it because i'm really tickled that she's doing this and besides i can buy wigs from her because i don't mind paying her prices but uh, I won't pay pr pay prices that are just thousands. I just I, I just don't I don't want to. I just don't want to. So I'm not going to. So anyway, um, I wanted to jump in here and show you this really quickly. I'll give you all the information below, and I'll be back uh, after I learn some more things about human hair wigs. I'll be back and share with you again. Okay. See you next time. Bye.